Hello everyone. In this introduction to C Sharp video, we are going to take a look at creating a C Sharp script as well as classes. Before we get into it, remember to subscribe to see more and hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload. It really helps me out. Now, on with the show. So if you're using Unity and you are doing programming in any kind of sense, you will have to use C Sharp as a programming language in this day and age. Many years ago, we used to be able to use Java or Unity Script as it was known. However, support for that was dropped uh, some years ago now. So to create a C Sharp script, all you really need to do is in your project window is right click, create and C Sharp script. You can then name your script anything you would like. You have to remember what the name of this script is though, if you do change your script name later on in development, but I will explain that in just a moment. So for now, I'm just going to call this my script with a capital M and a capital S with no space between the two words. Now, if we hit enter, return or double click on the script, it will open up in Visual Studio. Many years ago, we were able to use an application called MonoDevelop to do our programming in with Unity. However, support for that was also dropped some years ago. So we now use Visual Studio. It will be included with your Unity installation. Now, remember earlier when I said that we have to remember the name of our uh, script? We called it my script. That is the name of the class as well. In its simplest terms, a class is a way of holding the script in its entirety so as you can code various things to execute throughout your game. If we were to change the name of this class, for example, from my script to my script 2, we would not be able to use that script. If we wanted to keep the public class name as my script 2, we would have to change the name of the script within Unity itself. Currently, this uh, script is called my script, and the class is called my script 2. So, like I say, these will not work. The class and the script name has to match identical. So, if I get rid of the 2 there. So, like I say, a class is a way of holding everything within the script other than the namespace at the top. So if you are programming within Unity and you are creating a C-Shop script, remember that 98% of the time, everything you do will be inside a public class. So just to reiterate that, the class is what holds all of the script that you will edit. So as Unity is able to execute everything you type. I really cannot stress enough how much importancy there is there to keep your class name and your script name the same. Otherwise the script will not work. In the next video of this series we are going to cover the items inside the class which are known as methods. Hope to see you in that next video.